Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Hello. Scorpio, this is for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I started this video and all of a sudden it went off. So I don't know what happened there. But I will just leave the cards as is. This is a reality check. Partnership and alliances. Triumph. And balance. So. There is definitely something taking place that you just won. Although it seems like it was a bit disappointing. But you're healing. <clears throat> this partnership and alliance wasn't what you expected. I don't know what that is, but... And although you're upset about it, which I can see... Disappointed is more what I feel there. Okay? about this Knight of Cups. You're healing. You're going through a healing. The triumph here is justice. It's over. No more. You're not going to have to deal with this kind of pain anymore. Got Libra here. And for uh, patience, not balance. My bad. Sorry. I don't have my glasses on. Patience to a brand new beginning coming towards you. I do have the devil. I have the lovers. And I have the ace of wands or the shtick as I call it. I don't know why I'm being told to tell you this, but uh, don't let appearances fool you. That someone is trying to control you. It's like you're trying to be patient here, but at the same time, there's something here trying to control you, maybe through sex magic. Ooh. Sorry, guys. That's how I'm seeing it. And we have the devil, the lovers, and the ace of wands. I'm repeating myself because somebody noted that I don't call out the cards. Um, someone is trying to control you through a sexual connection here. You need balance from that. You need, you need, yeah, patience and balance so you can see why this person is holding on so hard because they're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with controlling you. They want to control you any way, shape, or form. What is this Four of Swords and Five of Cups about, Spirit? What is this about? Okay. So. You turn this person down. Because you did that, justice is coming in. Hermit time. 
We got the Virgo Hermit time. We got Justice twice. I think you withdrew from everything. Family. Got Leo and Aries here too. Four major arcanas in one hand. Wow. So the partnerships and alliances that you are creating right now are with the people that you love. Like I said, I got Virgo, Libra, Leo, and Aries in this hand. So off on a fool's journey once again because you're getting your justice here. Because you chose to withdraw instead of attack. Brand new beginning here. Taking a leap of faith towards the sun and a wish granted. Cool. <coughs> and all these people around you are confused about how you did it. It's called Backbone. What'd you leave me with? A bunch of Three of Swords. That shit. Um, page of Wands. Strength. The Hanged Man. <laughs> oh, they never give up. Seven of Pentacles. Enjoying the fruits of your labor, enjoying the spoils, and in comes the message. From this person and and Scorpio, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be strong here. You're gonna have to kind of hold up because Whoever this person is, they are coming towards you now. And they're in love with you. Like I said, careful what you wish for. I got Pisces and Leo in this set. Page of Wands, the Strength card, the Hanged Man, the Knight of Cups, and the Six of Swords. This person is really stuck on you, Scorpio. really stuck on you and I think you turned them down kind of broke their heart but now like I said feel free to reverse the roles this could be the person that you're dealing with it does not have to be you okay so reverse them if necessary but there's somebody going towards the other person as we speak reality check and whoever is going towards the other one they know what they've done they know why this ending happened they know who hurt who and I'm feeling somebody really ripped somebody's heart out here And I think they're hoping for another shot. Not taking that. All right. <coughs> Let's see what this devil and this lovers is all about over here. I will clarify that further. King of Swords, the cold hard truth. Somebody is having to face the cold hard truth and be fair in this situation and stop the breadcrumbing bullshit and tell the truth. Ooh. They're in love with you, Scorpio. They're in love with you. 
and this could be and I'm only saying this because of the way these cards came out but this could be two different cultures two different age groups and it could also be same sex uh, female relationship so I'm not I'm not I'm not not keeping that out because it's a very good possibility or this breadcrumber trying to be fair and tell you the truth that they're in love with you now also has someone else that they are manipulating now I don't know if this is a new person because the ace of ace of swords is there and and you know it's like you got a wish here but you're also getting manipulated by someone else's truth don't fall for it don't fall for it Scorpio and I'm not saying everybody's bad I'm just saying make sure that you discern who is right for you and who is not and you will know it by the way it feels you you won't have to have me tell you and that goes for family friends everyone now i know you're in hermit mode you can't stay in hermit mode it's not healthy although i know you want to <laughs> you're scorpio i know you want to stay in hermit mode that is your motif gonna cut a bitch I mean I, I can't three of fates two of swords again queen of swords and the king of wands you ain't playing with this fool you ain't playing with this fool This person thinks that you are their destiny, Scorpio. I got the fate, two of swords, queen of swords, king of wands. This person thinks that you are their destiny. They are quite confused. And you cut them off. No explanation needed. That five of swords on the bottom there may even possibly be a verbal situation that will make you even question yourself. Whatever this, <coughs> excuse me, manipulation is about, it's going to make you question it because it was what you wished for who is this page of wands on the page of wands what holding on hoping and praying that you will take them back if they tell you the truth but understand that even if they tell you the truth it is also a manipulation tactic because ultimately this is the reason why they're coming back okay page of wands ace of swords hierophant eight of pentacles ten of pentacles because you're only two pentacles away from that ten of pentacles. This could be a child. 
I'm seeing somebody in their 20s. They see what you're doing. That's why they're coming to tell you how much they love you. I love you. I love you. And it's okay. I mean, especially if it's your mom, child type thing. It's okay to love your family. It's okay to love your children. And I think they're seeing the light of who you are now. And they're changing their mind. It's okay. It doesn't mean you have to become a doormat to them. It just means that you are being acknowledged for how far you have come. Nobody knows how you did it, though. They're all kind of just stumped. They didn't see the gift that you were, and they passed you by. But somebody couldn't let go. You cut them all off. And went into hermit mode. Said, you know what, bitches? Y'all fight over that Six of Pentacles. Y'all fight over all that. I got shit to do. Like I said, Queen of Cups and Queen of Pentacles could be two different feminines. Daughter, mother, uh, best friend. Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo. I don't know who else we got on the board. I think that's it. Page of Swords. They're definitely spying on you. Everything you do. Wondering how you're doing, what you're doing. I don't know what that is because I'm just... Telling you what I see. Nine of Swords. <laughs> Strength again. Hermit again. Hanged Man and the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's at somebody's mercy here. I mean, I just... I, Queen of Pentacles on the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody is financially at someone else's mercy here. Look at this. Nine of Swords in this Leo card with their hands tied behind their back. But trying to have the strength to overcome a situation. Okay. And then we have the Hermit. The Hanged Man. And the Queen of Pentacles. So... Scorpio, this person is so stuck on your energy and not paying attention to their own that they are losing sleep. Wow. Give me a minute. Don't let anybody get you caught up in something that's going to cost you money. Okay? I'm just saying that. I mean, it's like, if somebody needs help here, Scorpio, and you're able to help them extra, then that's entirely up to you. I think it stresses you out not helping other people because that's your nature. Um... 
just like Pisces, you guys got that going on together. You both are like sucker for the sucker for a sob story. And that's what I feel like's going on here. Protect yourself, Scorpio. Stay in the hermit energy if you need, if you need to. I mean, I think it stresses you out to come out of it anyway. But you're trying to have the strength to come out of that. You're just a little stuck. I think we got some serious trust issues. And, and, and the fact that you're standing in your truth no matter what is what is going to lead you to that Ten of Pentacles from the Eight. You're sticking to what you know is true. Or what you know to be real to you. And you're not allowing other people to manipulate it, let you. But you do need to come out of your shell. Uh, like I said, this can promote a, some kind of a mental illness if you're not careful. You gotta learn how to trust some people. Some, you know what I mean. I look at it this way. You know, I I I don't intermingle with a lot of people anymore. But I look at it this way. I give you enough rope to hang yourself. All right. I'm going to love no matter what. I'm going to care no matter what. Even if you even if you wrong me, I'm still going to forgive you and move on. But you can't stay in hiding all the time. You will crack. Because human interaction is kind of a necessity. And I know you watch videos and see people. That's not the same. It, it's our nature to love others. It's our nature to be around others. That's how we survive. That's how we integrate who we are. And I see you trying to do this but you're really really having some serious trust issues with everyone not just this king of wands but maybe with just everyone and maybe they're founded maybe they're unfounded but sitting in a hole in your energy all the time is not healthy you gotta get out there you gotta integrate the personality with other people like I said there are yes are there people around you want to steal from you lie to you cheat all that oh hell yeah some of them even pretend like they got it like that and they don't. They're coming in to try to take yours. But that's okay. Because as long as you're standing in your power, they can't take you. You can't take what can't be taken. Your human soul can only be given up willingly. And I don't think you're on that just don't think you're on that you got some losers here that's for sure because you're in this energy right now I'm male or female you got people trying to end you Trying to end your life of abundance. And you're concerned about that. Especially if it has to do with your home. Or a home. You are concerned. 
2033. Got lots of aces here, too. 1111. One, one, one. So this is 1111. So this is, you're on the right track. You're getting this new start. Despite this. You are getting a new start here. And I do feel like you're you're at the point now where you're like, it's not enough. I'm sorry, it's not enough. You're not giving me enough to come out of my hermit uh, situation. And I feel that. I feel it. I get it. To you, this is paradise. And you're receiving what you need. You're able to progress and move on. But there's still some closure issues involved with these other people. Paradise, happiness, joy, wonderful. You're mirroring each other now. Someone who hurt you maybe cost you your stability. I feel that deep. I mean, I feel like somebody uh, convinced you, convinced you that this was going to be paradise. But basically what you guys did was just mirror each other's wounds back at each other. And somebody got stabbed in the back. Somebody got heartbroken over their stability and then ran fear of intimacy fear of the real deal like I said this is the reality check of the situation they stabbed you in the back they interrupted your stability and then they ran because this got too real for them. They were only in it for whatever they could get. But then they fell in love. And because they fell in love, they went the other way. Scared, scared cat, scared cat. They didn't mean to fall in love. They didn't mean to love you like they do. So they ran. It goes for family, friends, and everybody else. You are paradise to them. But for some reason, you reflected back to them what they don't like about themselves, as did they you. And somebody decided, well, you know what? I'm just going to take what I can get from this stable situation. And I'm going to go. Do not chase these people, Scorpio. Do not. I come get you. Do not chase these people. If they're, if they're, if they got the balls to stab you in the back, then they got the balls to come and apologize and stand up to your face. Just saying. And you have the balls to do the same. The eyes of beauty, positive expectations and clarity. Small steps asking for help. Camel boy in reverse. Scorpio, you're not asking anybody for help. You're trying to do this all by yourself. Because you don't... You don't want anybody honing in on your comfort. And I get that. I understand that. Trust me. Trust me. 
But these are these are people who don't who are not self aware. So when they look at you, they look at all the things that they feel like is wrong with them. Which just isn't the case, but that's how the reflection works. There will be nothing that can be hidden. That's just the way life is working out for everybody right now. So, might as well just be up front, tell the truth. Because I think Scorpio's got clarity anyway. When the eyes of beauty show up as your ally, they require you to examine your perceptions. Do you see the world as perfect and beautiful? Can you retrace your steps from your past to now and see the perfection in the way reality has been created? Truly, perception is everything. A glass half empty is the same as a glass half full, yet so different according to how, you per how it's perceived. The eyes of beauty remind you that if you move forward with conviction, all is well now and will always be. So mote it be. You will see the true prosperity as a result. Expect to see the beauty and you will attract your highest good. So, kind of like as I was saying in the reading, you give people enough rope to hang themselves. See the beauty in every lesson. Let them run. Don't chase them. None of them. They're the ones who have the problem with the ego. Scorpio, I think you've gone through enough dark nights of the soul to where your ego is there, but you, it, you're, you're in I don't give a fuck mode, which is kind of where you need to be at. But don't harbor any ill will against these other people. Well, no matter what they've done, and uh, I know that some of you have got some really bad shit had done to you. But this is where you go, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And you move forward. You don't let it stop you. You don't allow it to chase you into a cave and not come out. No, you still have to live your life. And beauty is in the be in the eyes of the beholder. And the positive expectation here you have is the positive expectation you will get. Let them run. Karma will catch up. Always does. That is a law that cannot be escaped. I know from experience, I'm the only one standing in my family besides my children. Mother, father, brother, little brother. I've watched it all. Anyway, that was a heavy read. <laughs> Let's go through the signs in the shadows and see what they's talking about. We have Aries. I forgive you. Whatever. Taurus, I'm waiting for an apology. Don't hold your breath. Gemini. In that moment, I didn't care. Sorry. Cancer. I don't really know you. Okay. I don't know you either then. Leo, I know you more than you think. Do you now? Virgo, I fantasize about you. Could be where the sex magic's coming from, guys. They got fantasies. Libra, I don't need your approval. Whatever. 
Scorpio, I loved myself enough to walk away. Amen. Sagittarius, you're so easy to see through. Boy, you got that flip-flop. Capricorn, you didn't imagine it. I got Capricorn right here. And the Queen of, Queen of Pentacles twice. Like I said, this got too real for somebody. Then we have Aquarius. Leaving you hurt me too. I bet. Pisces, we are not right for each other. Depends on where your other placements are at, just saying. And you to everyone else, I need, I know it's backwards guys, I need to focus on my healing. So you are healing through all of this chaos and I love it. This is like, peace through chaos type energy and you're finding that peace let them run this is where you need to stay and I'm not saying stay in your house and like in a hole I'm saying breathe the fresh air I'm gonna go out and hit some golf balls next weekend you know what I mean that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Even if you gotta take yourself out to dinner, go out to dinner. Get some fresh air. Alright? I love you guys so much. And I hope this message helps somebody understand what's going on right now. Uh, I love you guys. And I will see you tonight at 7 for a live. Till then, you guys stay safe. Love you. Bye.